Hi, welcome back. I'm Andrea Jean and today we are going to be deep cleaning my house. I hope to give you some motivation to do the same. We're going to be starting in my kitchen today by cleaning the grout and I'm going to be sharing with you the best method. In fact, I just created a video in which I compared three different methods. So if you are interested in that video, I will have it linked in the description box below. But as a bonus to you, I've actually created a deep cleaning checklist. It's going to have the top eight items of things to clean in your house. So that will be linked in the description box as well. So when you're done here, be sure to check that out for your own deep cleaning fun. And for an additional bonus, this video is a part of a $50 giveaway. More to come on that. All right, let's get into it. Just so I can give you a before here of the grout, let's take a peek. And it is absolutely disgusting. Do you see how black that is? And I have so much grout here. I have grout all over my house, this exact same tile, but we're just gonna be doing it here in the kitchen. In fact, I'm gonna be taking everything out. My first plan was just to kind of move everything and leave the rugs because you can't really see it anyway, but I don't want any of the product that I'm gonna be using to get on the rugs. And I figured if I'm doing the kitchen, I might as well do it up right. You'll notice here the rest of my kitchen is dirty, but your girl only has time for one thing at a time. Let's clean this grout. So this is the product that I'm going to be using here to get this grout nice and white again. I'm just going to lay it across here and then I'll let it sit for about 15 minutes and then we're just going to mop it up here. You can see it was a little hard to do this one handed while I had my camera in the other, but it got much easier once I put the camera down. I am super grateful that my husband was home on this day. Um, he is a full time stay at home dad, but often he's picking up kids or running errands. I definitely could have drugged that table across the uh, living room or the kitchen by myself, but it was just much handier to have his help and I will take all the help that I can get. You'll see here, he's giving me some tips about how I should lay this toilet bowl cleaner down, much like we have very different opinions about how our dishwasher should be loaded. Give me a thumbs up if you can relate to that one. As far as the giveaway goes, make sure you check out the playlist in the description. It's 50 bucks. All you need to do is like, comment, and discuss subscribe to each of our channels and there are four other ladies participating in this giveaway. So I've used this all up and I haven't even got halfway done, but thank goodness my husband bought two more. This, so this was about three bucks a piece. So not bad. So let's move on to the next of them. Clarification, he tells me it is $2.29 per bottle here in Wisconsin. <laughs> all done we're just gonna let this sit for 15 minutes granted this has been sitting while I put all the rest of this on if you have a bad back this is something you're gonna want to have someone help you out with because it's not the most comfortable position um, being down there but I'm super excited to see the transformation so I'll meet you back here in 15 minutes so it's been about 15 minutes. Now I'm just gonna take my old cedar spin mop here and get this all mopped up. I actually did two product review videos and this is one of the products that I reviewed. And in addition to that, in the video, there are about 16 different products between the two videos. So I will have those linked in the description box as well. Let's watch the magic happen. I will say this, now there are concerns. This is a harsh product. Um, but for me, I just want the easiest possible. I don't want to be scrubbing anything. I don't want to be getting down in the grout lines. So that's why I like this method. Also, to be honest with you, I will probably not do this for another several years. I don't know if this has ever been cleaned, um, this particular grout. So yes, if you do this frequently, it could definitely um, wear down the grout here. But if this is not something that you're going to be using with a lot of frequency, I'm all for it. All right, let's do it. Thank you. 
So I went over my entire floor once with the mop. I couldn't show it all y'all because it got so messy. I do need to go over it again. One thing that I did is when I got in the corners here, um, I did take a rag and just go like this because I didn't want to get any of it on the carpet. And the second thing that I learned is get a good pair of tennies because it gets super um, slippery and wet, but so far it's looking nice. So, and I got a new fresh bucket of water here. So we're gonna go over it one more time and see if that does the trick and then I'll get you real down low to see the comparison. all done i ended up going over this floor about four times i'll explain more about that here in a bit but let's take a look um, i believe this is where i showed you in the beginning let's see a before and after here yeah so it looks a lot better for not doing any scrubbing whatsoever um here's some really good ones here so it definitely cleaned up pretty nicely much better than before where it was completely black not too shabby i do want to show you a quick before i'm actually here in my mudroom which is a complete mess so you can really see you guys see how black that was um and this is what the the really dirty spots in my kitchen look like so and then let me just show you the after and if you look right here i mean this is here in my kitchen that looks so much better for no scrubbing at all. Don't mind my washer and dryer in the background, but I had to show you this too. So I did not get all the way um, the grout here on this piece here in the kitchen. You can see the drastic difference there. Look at that. My cat is, hey. <laughs> um, so definitely pleased with this. So any method that you end up going with when it comes to cleaning your road is going to have some pros and some cons. You just have to decide for yourself which ones you're willing to tolerate. I particularly like the toilet bowl cleaner for several reasons. One, application was super easy. I did not have to get down there with a toothbrush. I didn't have to mix up a ton of different mixtures like you would with baking soda and peroxide. So, so easy. Now as far as cleanup goes, I did end up going through the floors four times to get the product up as best as I possibly possibly could. Now I would imagine you would have to do that with any sort of method that you're going to be using if you're going to use OxyClean, hydrogen peroxide, and baking soda. Because you are putting it all over your floor, it does take a bit of time to get it picked up. And when I did testing on the squares using the hydrogen peroxide and baking soda, that would have been way more work to get picked up off this floor. And you know, this channel is all about cleaning and organizing for busy women. So I wanted the best method that's out there. I also didn't want to have to create a little contraption. You guys have probably seen where you can create a drill bit and attach a piece to it. I didn't want to get down on my hands and knees and scrub all the grout. I just wanted to look much better from the eye and make me feel like it was a bit cleaner. So if that sounds good to you, I would definitely go with the toilet bowl cleaner. All right, let's continue on to the rest of the deep cleaning in my house. All right, so we got the kitchen floors done. The next thing that we're gonna do here is we are gonna get behind my washer and dryer. It is so disgusting. All right, don't mind the mess here. Like I said, I'm either gonna be deep cleaning or regular cleaning. So if I'm deep cleaning, the regular cleaning is going to the wayside. Back here, I don't know if I can get you in there good enough. Let's see, oh my word, there is so much lint. It's not even gonna focus. Oh, there we go. And then if I take you way back here, oh, it's real bad, real bad. I mean, even you can see um, here on the dryer, just, we're gonna get this all cleaned up. All right, you guys, this is gonna be good. Look at this, there's a missing sock. <laughs> oh my word. Yeah, it's time we get this taken care of. do is I'm just gonna go in with this Mrs. Myers cleaner and kind of wipe everything down. I'm very grateful I had some teamwork for that last one. Oh 
let's take a peek at our work here. That looks a lot better. It would annoy me because every time I would kind of walk by, I could see the crack and just the lint building up, so I really knew that it needed to get done. So let's get this pushed back, um, everything connected, and then we're gonna move on to our next project. What's tricky about this is what do you call that silver thing like the vent the vent so you got to get it in there just right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna back in behind the washing machine here and then we're gonna have to keep this out connect that and then push everything back so it's kind of like a puzzle so you probably clicked on this video because one, you wanted to learn the best method for cleaning grout, or you were a part of the giveaway, you were participating in that, or you just were wanting some ideas about deep cleaning your own house. One little bonus I have here is on Andrea Jean one on Instagram. I post on Instagram stories every single day, all things mompreneur related. So this channel is one of my side hustles where I teach women how to make money online and doing what you love. So if that interests you, make sure you hit me up. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is wiping down all my blinds or my window treatments. So I just have an old rag here that I cut up and I use for cleaning and then a very nice hot bowl of water. So from this one window, look at how black that is. Disgusting, but satisfying. this dirty water so that makes me feel really good about what we were able to get up we're gonna cross this on our off our list here and then we're actually gonna move on to I'm not doing my basement today we're just doing the upstairs <laughs> the kids and my um, husband are downstairs in the basement right now we are gonna move on to the light switches real life behind the scenes I just dropped that in there but this is not stopping us <laughs> For this job, I'm just gonna be using this Method Anti-Back Wildflower Cleaner. It smells really good. And then again, a new rag. Moving on to my shower and bath, and again, we're just doing the upstairs levels, but I love this Method bathroom cleaner. I use this for almost everything. And this Clorox wand, you all, is amazing. I actually have this linked in the description box as well. I did it in one of my product review videos, but you can attach cloths to it. You don't even have to spray if you wanna use that route. But today, I'm just gonna use this cleaner here, wipe everything down with water, and scrub it all up with this.
the next day and yet another outfit change. We're gonna finish the rest of my deep cleaning checklist. That's in fact how I do any sort of deep cleaning or I would say 80% of my cleaning is when we sprint clean with your girl Andrea Jean because a lot of us don't have whole days to clean. We're taking care of babies, we're building businesses, we're doing all the jobs and so that's why I coined the term sprint clean. This is actually one of the t-shirts that I have designed. So if you're not following me on Instagram, Andrea Jean one, make sure that you do because I share all the behind the scenes of building a business. It's all things mompreneur related. We're going to work on the stairs right now here. Let me get you in nice and close so I can show you all the grime and dirt that is built up. So I have a furry feline cat and what you might be able to see is all her hair gets embedded deep within the backs of the carpet here. Carpet is nice, but it's not necessarily the cleanliest. So we got lots of hair. Um, sometimes there will be little scraps of cat litter, which is disgusting, but it's the truth. Um, you can see here there's cat food um, somehow. Her cat room is quite a ways away. Oh, and look at that, a cat toenail. So you guys, it's disgusting in here and I put these stairs off just because it's kind of well speaking of cat hey you her name's Ohana <laughs> but it's not just her I mean what is that popcorn you guys there's like a layer of cat hair on here disgusting so let's attack this just for a frame of reference this is all of what's going on behind me <laughs> Toys, toys, and more toys, but that will be in a later Clean With Me cleaning motivation video. So a little bit about this vacuum. This one my mom is actually lending to me. Ours broke. I broke the handle off. You've probably seen that a while back, but I'm going to keep using this as long as I can. Um, I really don't want to dole out the cash right now because as you know, anything I make goes back into the business. So I'm just trying to save all my coins. I'm sure you can relate to that one, but the it doesn't suck very well the um, attachment here. So I took everything off it so I could get the most suckiness possible. I know that sounds terrible, but it's true. And even then, I just, I don't feel like it did the best job, but you'll see here at the end, it does look a lot better. And we got all that disgusting stuff up, like toenails, cat litter, you name it. Look at all that dirt. Now that's not just from my stairs, but that's a big majority of it. Oh, satisfying yet so disgusting. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that vacuum away next. And I just wanna say thank you so much for joining me. Also, be sure to check out the description box below for your free deep cleaning checklist so you don't even have to think about what needs to get done around your house. I hope that you will join me for some more cleaning and organizing for busy women. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. All right, we'll check you later.